what's going on guys? Justin Glover here and shooting face-to-face -face video. Usually um, it's just a lot more convenient to shoot these little screen capture videos but I've got a lot of ideas and a lot of things that uh, have kind of been building up in my mind that I've been wanting to share with you guys for quite some time now and they're just better relayed in these face-to-face -face videos so um, one thing that I'm actually going to be doing is trying to commit to doing more of these um, and not falling back on what is so comfortable, you know, kind of upping my game a little bit personally because it's something that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always striving to achieve more and get better and um, connect on a deeper level. And I just, I mean, honestly, face-to-face -face videos are a lot better at doing that than the screen capture videos. Screen captures are better than nothing, but um, I personally think, you know, I was looking back on all of the uh, people that I have, the, you know, they feel like I know the most and it's the ones that do the face-to-face -face videos. So uh, that's one of my commitments over the next few days and or the, the coming days and weeks and months and however long. So uh, as you can tell, i got some stuff written here on the board. I'm going to be talking about that. Um, I was really inspired this morning to create this video because uh, I, I, I made the decision, um, I guess, a day or so ago. I've got a lot of stuff going on right now, dealing with a lot of stuff, and I was like, you know what? Whatever happens before the weekend's up, I'm going to try to get a video out, um, a face-to-face -face video, because it, it's something that I need to do. Then the question came in, okay, what do I talk about? <laughs> you know, I've got all these ideas and all of these um, lessons and points that, I, that I've been kind of bagging up, you know, over the past months and, and years, and I was like, well, what do I start talking with? You know, what, what do I lead with? And it's kind of funny how things work out because this morning, uh, me and Sarah got up, we went to church, and we actually started a, um, in our Bible study, we were starting a brand new series, okay? We just finished up one, it was actually called, it was called um, Foundations of the Faith, and this series that we actually started today is a 40-day challenge type of deal. It's a 40-day series. So... It's called, and, and there's not really, I don't, know, I don't even know if there's a name for the whole, the series or the, um, the way that it's all set up. But basically what it's doing is it is following the book, Purpose Driven Life. It's a book by Rick Warren. Um, if you haven't read it, I, you know, I, I encourage you to just, if you want, follow along with this. I'm probably going to go through this, and then I'm actually probably going to go through it again and document everything. Um, and because I, I'll be able to learn a lot of the things that uh, really help me along the way, and as I jot those down the first time, then I can come back and really document that um, that whole second experience and give kind of my feedback and stuff. So that's just to let you know some of the plans that I have going forward in the future. But um, I really kind of found out, you know, I found out what exactly I want to talk about today here in this first day of Bible study. Now. Um, it's not, I'm not going to sit here and, and preach at you or anything like that, but I, what we covered today, what the very first point of this book made, the, you know, the very, the whole beginning, like laying the foundation for this whole 40-day journey that we're about to go on, um, it really spoke to me, and it said, you know, um, I, this is something that I, that people need to know. People don't realize this. You know, people don't take this seriously enough. They don't spend enough time doing this. Now, if you haven't read the book, um, like I said, it's called The Purpose Driven Life, and I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I'm, I'm really bad at trying to <laughs> put this up there. But anyway, um, that's what it, this is actually an old one. It, it's probably not going to be a solid green cover. Um, I actually took this. Uh, I think I found it a while back on my grandpa's fireplace or something, kind of maybe as a decoration, but um, anyway, the cover now, I think it's red maybe, something like that, but if you just search for it, you can probably find it, but um, the whole point of the book is really to develop that clarity of knowing your purpose in life, you know, what on earth are we here for, and one thing that I've noticed along, you know, in the past years or so that I've really been... Um, focused on growth and development in myself and you know I've noticed that a lot of people really take this part they kind of overlook it you know they, they entrepreneurs especially you know we know that it is important but so many of them that I 
I've seen, and I'm guilty of this too, we don't take it seriously enough from the beginning. And I've personally learned that when you don't take it seriously enough from the beginning, what will happen is you will go along and you will go along and you're, you'll make some success, you'll have some successes, you'll have some failures, just like you normally would, but you're going to have some underlying consequences. And I've got these consequences written up here. And whenever you really focus and you really spend the time finding out what your purpose here on earth is for, then there's also going to be some really cool benefits. And this is one thing that I'm, I'm personally excited about because um, these are the three, and these are listed directly out of the book. Okay, so the first three consequences, um, your life will seem tiresome, unfulfilling, and uncontrollable. And I read through these and I was like, holy crap, that's me. I mean, uh, this is this is something, the, I, I experience these exact same things. I mean, I, I'm always feeling, having these feelings of, you know, being tired, wishing that I was more efficient. Um, and it doesn't matter what you relate it to. I mean, if it's, um, you know, for me, I wish I, was more, I had more systems and processes in place where I could be more efficient and that would make me feel like I'm getting more things done. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it's, I, no matter how efficient I get, I always wish that I was more. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, it, it's tiresome. And unfulfilling and uncontrollable, two other ones that, that really hit me, um, hit me deep because there's there's certain things that I do in my life and in my business that are very, very fulfilling to me. Then there are those things that I do, and when I look back on them, after I do them, I realize that the thoughts and the things that I was, you know, processing as I was going through that, I thought that's what I wanted, and then when I got it, it's like, you know, there, I want more. There's real, this really isn't, this isn't what I expected. And so that leaves a huge sense of being unfulfilled. Um, you know, a, a classic example of this point is some of the most successful people in the entire world. Um, they always want just a little bit more. You know, they always want... Um, you know, it's never enough. So, I guess the question is, well, what? When is it enough? And you don't find that. You don't get that fulfillment until you understand your purpose in life. Till you understand exactly what you're here for. And this is something I've seen people that I mean, those it, it blows my mind looking back on it. And you know, even I've been guilty of this. People will spend more time planning a vacation than they spend time planning their entire life really finding out why they're here, developing their purpose, writing it down. I mean, that's just, that's another simple act. Just, they don't write it down. Um, and what happens when you don't write stuff, stuff down? It, it, it kind of gets lost in the wind. You forget about it, and it's not there to remind you at, at a future date. Um, so whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever, whichever one of these you may be feeling, which you may, you may be feel, feeling all of them. You may have experienced all of them. You may think that um, your life is, is kind of tiresome, that it is unfulfilling, and it's a little bit out of control sometimes. And, I mean, I know I do. This is, this, this is coming straight. This, this spoke straight to me. That's the reason you're watching me right now is because uh, this is something that spoke straight to me. So that's one of the reasons I'm actually excited about going through this process. And, um, like I said, I, I would obviously uh, encourage you to go through the process as well. I'm not going to document every step of the way this time because, like I said, or at least um, publicly, this isn't you know a start of any type of series of videos or anything. However, I'm sure that there's going to be insights that I learn along the way. Um, there's going to be shifts that take place. There's going to be even bigger ahas that um, I haven't experienced as of yet. And when those happen, of course, I'm going to come back and share that with you as well. But um, this whole, you know, I, I'm not kicking off a series or anything. I just wanted to share this with you um, because this is something that I'm, per I'm going through right now, personally in my life. Now, the benefits. So, I, if these are the consequences, you're like, okay, well, what's the, what's the benefit of me actually knowing the purpose of my life? And.
there's some pretty good benefits. It's going to give your life more focus. Okay, when you understand your purpose in life, you're going to have more focus. And that is something that if, if you ask any of my friends, any of my uh, family or close relationship, people that I have close relationships with, you'll know that that's one of the areas that I struggle with probably most. Now, compared to, I guess, the average person, person if you want to call it, um, I'm pretty darn focused. I'm pretty darn efficient. However, when I'm comparing myself to myself, it's like, man, I, there's so much more that I want. I'm, I'm, I can be so much more focused, so much more efficient. And so having that clarity, I've always known that there's, there's, you know, there's something missing. Um, you, you hear people talk about knowing their purpose and really finding that purpose. And you might think, okay, well, that's you know, a little kooky. You might think, okay, that's great. And even do a little bit of work to try to find your own purpose. And maybe you even find what you think might be your purpose. But you know deep down inside, and this is where I was. I had done, I, I've, I've studied this. I've read about it. I've spent time trying to develop this and figure out, you know, what is my calling? What am I here to do? And I've, I've even, I mean, I've written multiple different things down, but at the end of the day, there's, deep down inside, I'm like, okay, well, it, it doesn't pull me like I expected it to pull me. And so I think by going through this process, you know, I'm, I'm very optimistic about it. I'm, uh, I'm trusting that this is going to at least help me further along than I, than I currently am. So I'm excited about that because it's going to give me more focus. Um, it's going to give me more simplicity in my life. It will simplify your life. You're not going to worry about the things that, you're, that you worry about otherwise. When you don't know your purpose, you're not, you're going to, you know, there's going to be things that happen and you're not going to know exactly why. And those things are going to bug you. They're going to bother you. They're going to, you know, just fill you full of stress. Um, you want to have that inner peace and that, that confidence and everything else that gives you that simplicity that we desire, you've got to know the purpose of your life. And again, you know, this is something I'm going through. So the third benefit, it will increase motivation in your life. I think personally everybody um, could always use a little bit more motivation. Um, I have a, a little routine that I do on a regular basis when I'm down on motivation, guess what I do? I go looking for motivation. <laughs> so I don't just, you know, every time I'm, I'm maybe a little tired or uh, just every once in a while, it's been a while, uh, I go out and look for new motivational stuff. Okay, so uh, tiresome, unfulfilling, uncontrollable are the consequences. And more focus, simplifying your life, and increased motivation are the benefits. And I apologize, I had to... Uh, actually stop and restart my camera because my camera got full and it died so I had to take some stuff off and uh, it, I bought myself a couple of more minutes so I've got to I've got to wrap this up fairly quickly but um, again guys I just wanted to really share something that I'm personally going through I'm, I'm pretty excited about this journey actually um, it's a it's a 40 day uh, 40 day study you read one chapter every single day they're very very short chapters um, and again if if you would like to come on this journey with me or just do it in the privacy of your own home or whatever, uh, I invite you to do that. Um, this is something that I just, I, I thought, you know, um, more people need to spend more time on this. More people need to really understand this importance. And if I can get just a few people to really go through this process and actually find their purpose and understand it, then, uh, then it's all worth it for me. So. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hopefully I'm going to be doing more of these face-to-face -face videos very soon. So uh, look forward to seeing you then, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.